<laughs> it's our second stop today. The first day of our school collections, we're at Franklin Military Academy. And once again, here come the codes. Check this out. Tell us about uh, this Coach for Kids tribe. Uh, how many people were, how many of the cadets were involved in collecting these coats? The whole battalion was involved, sir. We um, made announcement formation when we have formation early in the morning. We say, bring in the coats for Coach for Kids tribe. And they started bringing them in. We had companies that had 10 one day, then they went on to have 15. And we just so many coats out here. We had to take the size of the craver and put them in bags, tie them up, sir. Fantastic. And did you all count them? How many do you have in all? Do you know? No, I don't know, sir. I know it's more than 100, sir. Easily, easily, easily more than 100. And what do you think, uh, yes? It's 300, sir. 300? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, not bad. Uh, what do you think uh, this, this, this Coach for Kids drive does for the cadets? We know what it does for the community. What does it, what does it do for you all as cadets? It makes us feel proud knowing that we have helped someone other than ourselves. We gave something that we had in our house that we're not wearing, that we're not using to someone else that needs it. So it makes us feel great because we just helped someone else out. And this is how we strengthen our communities? Yes, sir. You really can't beat that. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Lieutenant sir. Colonel Swan. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Swan has uh, sacrificed also some of his lunch time today to be with us. Should we let him go? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you once right. again, sir. My pleasure. We'll see you again next year. All right, sir. Whoop, attention. We're here at Franklin Military Academy uh, under the direction of Sergeant Cray here. These cadets are doing a wonderful job for us today collecting 300 plus coats in this year's Coach for Kids drive. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, good talking to you too, Mr. Condon. Thank you. Sergeant McCray, uh, I can't tell you how hard it is to see the kids bringing these coats out and, and, and donating to the community. How did you all organize this here at Franklin? Well, actually, um, Richmond Public School contacted us via email and told us that we're having um, that they are supporting Puritan cleaners with the cold drive. So every morning we have a formation that put it out to our cadet S5 and told them that we'd like to get back to the community this year as to have a cold drive. And uh, once we put it out to the company, we have four companies and the companies um, made it competitive like a competition style. So each company tried to outdo the other one to bring them in to see who brought in the most coats. How many, and you said there are four companies and the entire battalion was, was involved in this. How many, how many cadets are we talking about? Uh, we're talking 200 cadets, 201 cadets. To be exact. So really we collected more than one coat per cadet in this drive today. Oh yes, we have 300 plus coats. That's fantastic. Yeah, donated by the cadets. Really impressive. Uh, tell us about what community service means for the school, for the cadets themselves, and for the administration. Um, actually, the community service for the cadets, the best thing for them is to know that they're giving back to the community itself. That the things that they have, they know that everybody's not as advantaged um, as they are, as lucky as they are, as good as they are to have a coach. So they, um, this year, donated the, um, brought in the coach that they weren't using. A couple of them went door to door to the neighbors mm -hmm. and um, told them about their coach drive. And um, knowing that they gave back to the community, um, they themselves feel much better. Mm -hmm. Sometimes serving others is serving yourself. It's actually so much more rewarding. And that way, and I believe that as a kid, they'll know as they get older that they'll continue to give back to their uh, community and it also teach your kids to do the same thing. Well, thank you very much for your help. Is there anything you want to tell our camera today before I let you go? Um, actually, we like to say, um, Coast for Kids! Coast for them, Kids! That's it, bring them to Franklin, Coast for Kids! <laughs>